fungicide resistance is fast becoming as dangerous a threat to Australian agriculture as herbicide resistance. There's plenty of mildew here and plenty of resistance. Here in the high rainfall environment of northern Tasmania, fungicide resistance is high and the race is on to address this issue for the benefits of the entire grains industry. It is paramount for us to be able to establish successful interactions um, with both the industry and the researchers in order to push the fungus resistant issue uh, further and be able to actually deal with this, this problem in the short, in the very short term. Dr. Fran Lopez Ruiz is fungicide resistance group leader at the Centre for Crop and Disease Management, a national research centre leading the way in crop disease research and fungicide management strategies. Supported by Western Australia's Curtin University and with investment from GRDC, the centre has been documenting cases of fungicide resistance across the country since 2014. Basically, we've got an important case of fungus resistance in Western Australia with regards to uh, net tie net blotch and spot tie net blotch in the south of Western Australia. We've got widespread barley powdery mildew resistance, and this is in both cases the blotches and powdery mildew is, uh, is resistance to DMI fungicides. Fungicide resistance is also a significant issue nationwide. You also have other cases of fungus resistance, like uh, the one that we have been investigating in the last couple of days here in Tasmania, so which is a strobilurin resistance in wheat powdery mildew. So pretty much uh, the resistance here is, 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 is uh, quite high, and the compound pretty much is, is gone for the control of wheat powdery mildew. Not every case of resistance is a field failure, but where there is fungicide sensitivity, it's now regarded as a warning sign. For Cetora to decide, probably we are on the, on the verge of actually uh, calling it a field failure. But for the other cases, so the blotches and wheat powdery mildew, barley powdery mildew, there is a real field failure. So the compound is not able to control anymore. At the annual Hyper Yielding Cereals Project Field Day, Fran encouraged cereal growers to implement an integrated disease management strategy. So fungicides are just one of the components of the disease management strategy. In my view, genetic resistance is the most important component. We have to combine as many tools as possible. So using varieties with high levels of resistance uh, to the different diseases, sometimes that's actually quite difficult to achieve, but trying to achieve that is, is paramount. Uh, good rotations of our crops, so having actually decent rotations where we've got uh, different crops built as part of this strategy. Uh, that's going to create a very dynamic environment and the disease is going to have it very hard in order to adapt to this changing environment. The strategic use of fungicides is also important to reduce the risk of pathogens developing resistance and prolong the lifespan of the limited chemistry that's available. So we use Obviously the same chemical season after season, we are just basically asking for, for troubles here. So we need to use different strategies here. We need to rotate the chemicals within the different mode of actions that we've got available. We have to alternate the different mode of actions. We have to mix the different mode of actions together. We have to create a very dynamic environment from the chemical point of view. When it comes to making management decisions, growers need not think they're alone in addressing fungicide resistance. The Centre for Crop and Disease Management receives more than 1,000 crop samples per year from the grains industry, and growers are encouraged to get in touch if they suspect their fungicides are ineffective. Something that is actually quite important for us is, is to be able to provide feedback to those that provide us uh, samples. Because at the end of the day, this is, this is the whole point of the story. It's just trying to help the industry to make better decisions, right? To actually, you know, be able to deploy the right chemical in the, at the right spot in those cases where there is fungus resistance reported.